Today, California Chrome drew the number two post position for Saturday's Belmont Stakes. After running away with the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, the horse is one win away from the first Triple Crown in 36 years. Michelle Miller reports that would be a much needed boost for the sport. California Chrome may be the only one in Belmont Park who doesn't understand the pressure on his chestnut shoulders. Trainer Art Sherman does. It took me 60 years to find one like him. The sport is hurting. Since 2004, betting at tracks has dropped $4.2 billion. And in New York State alone, attendance is down 20%. The image of horse racing has been tainted. Scandals over steroids and race day medication and competition from casino gambling have left the sport reeling. Hall of Fame jockey Gary Stevens says this sport needs a hero. Right now he is a rock star, but if he doesn't win the Triple Crown, he's just going to be another statistic. I don't know, I, I've got fingers crossed. Chrome has not just been lucky, he's been remarkable, especially considering his humble backstory. Owners Perry Martin and Steve Coburn are paupers in the sport of kings. Martin runs this medical testing company in the suburbs of Sacramento. Coburn works at a factory that makes magnetic strips for credit cards. It costs the team $10,000 to breed the mare that produce Chrome. People spend millions and millions of dollars buying horses, putting them through training, and have never done anything that we did our first try. Father and son co-trainers Art and Alan Sherman are both former jockeys, but the closest either got to racing glory was when Father Art was an exercise rider aboard the Derby winner Swaps. That was in 1955. Will he put fans back in the stands? I think he already has. Many race fans believe California Chrome can't be touched. <laughs> and Chrome might agree. <laughs> Chrome is currently the three to five favorite here at Belmont, but Maurice, this track is a mile and a half long, the longest of any of the three races here, and this is the track that's called the Graveyard of Champions. That it is. Michelle Miller with the reflexes tonight at Belmont Park.